time having arrived, I call the City Council meeting for Monday, May 26, 2015. To order, please stand as we salute our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, in liberty and justice for all. Good evening, Councilors, and good evening to everyone that is here as well. Councilor Sullivan, uh, excuse me, Councilor DiNapoli. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege? Yes, you may, Councilor. Uh, over the weekend, we lost a, a great Bartonian. His name was Roger Perrin. Everybody knows his Pitt Perrin. He was a boxer trainer. He was a friend of mine, colleague at the radio station. We used to do the sports show on Friday nights with the Marciano family. I'd like to have a moment of silence. Thank you. May he rest in peace. Councilor Sullivan. But if we could take a moment of silence. Uh, the city also lost a 35-year uh, uh, employee of Brockton Public School Systems, Marilyn Canfield, who uh, was employed at the Whitman, uh, Whitman School. She was actually my fourth grade teacher. She was just a really nice lady. She passed away. If we could uh, remember her and her family, it would be appropriate. Thank, Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilor. May she rest in peace as well. Mr. President. Councilor Sullivan. I'm going to make a motion to accept the late file relative to the fire department. Second. Second. Motion's been made and seconded that we accept the late file. All in favor? Opposed? We accept the late file. Mr. President. Councilor Sullivan. I'm going to make a motion to act on the suspension rules to make a final vote tonight on this matter. Second. Second. Motion's been made and seconded that we act on this um, as well. Uh, after the clerk reads the names, we'll, we'll suspend the rules and uh, act on it this evening. Go ahead, Mr. Clerk. The appointment of Robert D. Hendrigan to the rank of fire captain of the Brockton Fire Department. The appointment of Eric J. Nardelli to the rank of Fire Lieutenant in the Brockton Fire Department. The appointment of Joseph M. Machetti to the rank of Deputy Fire Chief in the Brockton Fire Department. Motion was made and seconded. We suspend the rules and act on this this evening. All in favor? Opposed? Confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Hayes Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sidinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Mr. President. The motion has been adopted. Councilor Sullivan. I make a motion of reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for reconsideration and hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Those three gentlemen, if they are here, and I'm sure they are, please stand up <laughs> so we can uh, see who. May we, may we congratulate you and wish you the very best in your new uh, position. At this time, we'll take about a three-minute recess so families and everybody can gather for some pitches. I reconvene the uh, City Council meeting for uh, Monday, May 26th. Mr. Clerk, first item. Petition of 660 Pleasant Street, LLC, DBA, Premier Farm, for an increase of 8,000 gallons to underground storage license located at 660 Pleasant Street and City Clerk's Office, April 10, 2015. Hearing is signed for May 26, 2015 at 8 p.m. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor of the petition, please come forward and state your name and address to the clerk. Good evening. Yep, right there. Janish Patel. And uh, Janish Patel. And my father owns the site, uh, our family owns the site at 660 Pleasant Street. And what we're trying to basically do is we had a license for 30,000 gallons before we took over. The site had a license. And then when we took over, when we got licenses in our name, we were only issued a 20,000 license. Now we're just trying to get back to that 30,000 limit, just add an 8,000 gallon <coughs> tank to hold diesel at the site. Okay, very good. Is there anyone else here that wants to be heard as well in favor? Please come forward and state your name and address to the, uh, to the clerk. Good evening. Uh, Kevin Gottwald with Global Contracting. Uh, I'm rep representing uh, Patel with respect to the installation. Uh, I permitted it through the fire department. 
Um, they've reviewed the plans and approved the plans, and I think that's why it's before you folks right now. Uh, again, as Mr. Patel had said, when they took ownership of the property, it was at, uh, or I guess maybe right when they purchased it, uh, there was only 20,000 in the ground. So at that point, uh, the permit or the license to the store was reduced to 20,000. Uh, the Patels were uh, kind of unaware of it. Uh, at that point, we they decided to install an 8,000 so that they can have diesel, have more regular buy-in volume, less trucks coming into deliveries. Um, at that point, when I went to pull the permit, I realized that it had been reduced. And so since then, we've come before the board to try to increase it to get it back to uh, 30,000 or 28,000 so that they can increase, they can put the 8,000 in and have diesel at the location. Okay, very good. Mr. Any, anyone else, uh, anyone else that's uh, in, in favor of, please come forward and state your name and address to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing. Uh, Councilor Cruz. Uh, well, I just had a question or two uh, for either Mr. Patel or I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't catch the second gentleman's name. Kevin Gottwald, Global Contracting. So did you actually have a permit in hand for 30,000 gallons? Uh, the, the license to store in 2012 and 13, that's as far as the city had on record, was for 30,000 gallons, correct. In 2014, again, um, the, the, the clerk approached Mr. because it's, it's renewable every single year. So uh, one of the clerks, you know, approached Mr. Patel and said, um, you know, you only have 20,000. You know, why don't you just reduce it? Not knowing any better, he reduced it. So. Okay. And so where will, will this tank physically be located on? Is it one 8,000 gallon tank? Is that how that works? It's one 8,000 gallon tank. It'll be, uh, well, I don't have the site plan in front of me, but direct, it'll be right to the left of the tanks. And it, like I said, at one time there was that many tanks in there. Um, so we're just putting the tank back. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. President. Second, okay. Is there anyone here in opposition uh, to this petition? Please come forward and state your name and address to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that out of the hearing closed in the hearing closed uh the question would be on uh, okay, granting uh mr president um Councilor, i'm not Councilor Stewart. just a point of information i guess i'm trying to figure out exactly where is 660 pleasant street what business is this 660 pleasant is uh it's it's right at the end of westgate if you went by the plaza on your left heading i guess this direction you don't drive straight into it uh it's the old cumberland farms oh, um, oh okay D'Angelo's on is. one corner, yep. they're on the other corner, and then, uh, you know, the entrance to the mall is where they reconfigure that whole Correct. intersection. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome, Counselor. Um, again, the question is on uh, a granting by a hand vote. All in favor? Opposed? The license has been granted. Thank you. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of January I'm sorry, meeting of May 19, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the DPW Commissioner requesting a transfer of $20,000 from Fiscal 2015 DPW Utilities Division Sewer Section Full-Time Account to DPW Utilities Division Sewer Section Overtime Account. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Emergency Management Director requesting that the City Council accept the grant award in the amount of $2,210 from the HMEP Fiscal 14-Fiscal 15 Grant Supplement Funding. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the city planner requesting the city council accept the grant award in the amount of $10,000 from Mass Humanities to City of Brockton, Frederick D Douglas Neighborhood Association. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative Accepted and placed on file. We have an ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton 
be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 2, Article 3, Division 5, Section 2-186, Assistant City Solicitor. And the recommendation is favorable as amended. The question is on ordination as amended by a roll call. Vote, Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. And the ordinance is ordained. We don't want to do any of that. No. Order that the city appropriate the amount of $2,075,919 for the purpose of paying costs of complete replacement of school windows at the Barrett Russell Kindergarten. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. And the order is adopted. Order that the city appropriate the amount of three million five hundred ninety thousand four hundred eighty six dollars for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing refacing boiler replacement at the Ashfield Middle School. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the city appropriate the amount of two million eight hundred forty three thousand three hundred one dollars for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing boiler replacement at the Gilmer Early Childhood Center. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. And the order is adopted. Ordered that the city appropriate the amount of three million eight hundred sixty-one thousand seven hundred seventy-eight dollars for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs <coughs> and resurfacing, including the payment of all costs incidental or related thereto at the Brookfield Elementary School. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Councilor Denapoli. Yes, uh, Mr. President, I would like to take items uh, 17 to 25 collectively, please. Items 17 Second. through 25, uh, collecting motions Second. are made Second. and seconded. All in favor? Opposed? We'll take them collectively. Mr. Clerk, just read each name, please. Following appointments to the rank of police officer in the Brockton Police Department have favorable recommendation. Uh, Joe Miranda, Jonathan Correa, Evan Joseph, Frank Kalankas, David Lou, Isaiah Callahan, Ryan Quirk, Jose Rodriguez, and Derek Scully. Questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine and those appointments have been confirmed. Councilor Denapoli. Uh, move for uh, reconsideration and hope doesn't prevail on items uh, 17 to 25. Second. Motion, second. motion been made and second for reconsideration and hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration. All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Appointment of Robert Miller, 81 Lester Road, Brockton, as a member of the Cable Advisory Board, three-year term ending May 2018. Recommendation is favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. And the appointment is confirmed. The appointment of Mozart St. Cyr, 104 Tribune Street, Brockton is a member of the Cable Advisory Board for a three-year term, ending May 2018. Recommendation is favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapoli. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And the appointment is confirmed. Appointment of Reginald Thomas, 161 Kevin Road, Brockton, member of the Planning Board for five-year return, ending May 2020. Recommendation is favorable. Are the questions on confirmation by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 
And the appointment is confirmed. We have a transfer of $9,521 from Veterans Services Purchase of Services, $8,321. Veterans Services Overtime, $1,200. To Veterans Services Goods and Supplies. Council May 11, 2015. Refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Transfer of two hundred thousand dollars from the personnel department, personnel employee benefits, unemployment compensation to police department capital projects. And council May eleventh, two thousand and fifteen. Fair the committee on finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Annery. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Transfer of $2,000 from Park and Authority Personal Services, part time salaries other than overtime, to Park and Authority Purchase of Services, Electricity, and Council May 11, 2015. For the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Transfer $17,200 from Park and Authority Meter Reserve, $7,200. Personal services part time salaries other than overtime, $10,000. To Park and Authority Snow Removal, $17,200. And Council May 11, 2015. For the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $2,025,724 from available funds, Brockton's Chapter 90, apportionment for fiscal 2016, to Highway Transportation Project Funds, fiscal 16, Chapter 90 projects. In Council, May 11, 2015. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine the order is adopted. Order the DC. Mr. President. Council of Annapolis. Uh, item number 34. Council Dubois is running a little late. She asked if we could postpone this till the end of the meeting. Okay. Second. Second. Motion's been made. Second. second. We'll postpone this to the end of the meeting. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Clark. But that the City Council authorizes the acceptance of two memorial benches for the DPW golf course from DW Field Park Association, the City of Brockton Park Commission. All costs associated with this memorial bench, including installation, would be incurred by DW Field Park Association in Council May 11, 2015. For the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the, the order is adopted. Order that the City Council authorizes the acceptance of a memorial bench for the deep W Field Golf Course from Dave Moynihan to City of Brockton Park Commission. All costs associated with this memorial bench, including installation, would be incurred by Dave Moynihan and Council May 11, 2015. For the Committee of Finance, I report as follows. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. yes. <laughs> the order is adopted. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> An, an ordinance amending Chapter 17 of the revised ordinances, City of Brockton, be ordained by the City Council, City of Brockton, as follows. Chapter 17, Article 2, Planning Board, Division 1, generally Section 17-18 members. Referred to ordinance. Ordered that the City Council of the City of Brockton, acting pursuant of Chapter 40Q of the Mass General Laws, hereby approves the downtown Brockton district designates the City of Brockton Planning and Economic Department, directs the City of Brockton Assessing Department, and authorizes the Planning Department to take any other action in connection with the approval of the district. Referred to finance. 
audit that the city hereby accepts and expends a grant award in the amount of $10,000 from ha Mass Humanities to City of Brockton in support of Stride Towards Freedom to get <coughs> connected to Brockton's diversity by exploring our common ground. The grant is to be matched by at least $2,000 in cash and $9,900 in kind services. The mayor is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to effectuate such grant. Refer to finance. Councilor Cruz. Mr. President, uh, due to the uh, lateness in the fiscal year, I'd uh, like to make a motion that we act on item number 40 tonight on the suspension of the rules. Second. second. Motion's been made and seconded that we take item number 40 and act upon it under the suspension of the rules this evening. All in favor? Opposed? And if anyone has any question relative to it, I would uh, allow a leeway uh, for either or Mr. Condon and our DPW Commissioner to make a quick um, presentation in regards to this matter. Good evening. Good evening, councilors. Um, this shortfall was due to the snow oh, that we um, that we had this winter. Yet. Excuse me. A transfer of twenty thousand dollars from the DPW sewer department personal services other than overtime to DPW sewer department personal services overtime to ensure that the sewer department has enough funds to cover any emergencies that may occur outside of their regular shifts. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. That's Commissioner, okay. now you may begin. Okay. <laughs> the reason for this shortfall is because of the, the snow we've had this winter. Um, usually I have two guys do plug ups or whatever. I had to have a whole crew there because it was like four to six feet of snow on top of the clean outs. And, um, and then I had, with the blizzards I had around the clock, um, guys, I held them over. So that's why there's a little shortfall here. I still have money in the budget, but I want to make sure I have enough to get us through to the end of the year. Motion Thank you. Uh, motion to approve. Second. 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 Motion has been made and second that we um, um, approve. All in favor? Opposed? That has been approved. Question? Roll call. Okay, it has to be on a roll call. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. 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 Uh, the order is adopted. Mr. Mr. President. Councilor hey. Cruz. Oh. Make a motion for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Oh, I thought I was Mr. Rod so. Councilor Rodriguez, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't happen to look that way. Forgive me. Usually I do, so I, got, I look the other way. Did you? Go right ahead. Well, Mr. Mr. President, I wanted to, to see if we could have, for the same reason that Councilor Cruz introduced the uh, number 40, I wanted to do the same thing to number 41 since uh, it's, uh, it's an item that has uh, a lot to do with uh, the fiscal year, and it's a grant from... Uh, to the uh, to BEMA and the uh, the BEMA directors here, so I'd like to ask that we suspend the rules and act Second. on it. Tonight. Second. Motion's been made and seconded that we act upon this particular item here as well this evening. Um, after the clerk reads it, please, Mr. Clerk. An appropriation of $2,210 hmm. from the Mass Emergency Management Agency, HMEP grant, to Brockton Emergency Management Agency, HMEP grant fund, to Brockton Emergency Management Agency, BEMA, intends to use the supplement funding for office equipment and supplies. No match is required. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Did, did you want to make a comment as, as well? Good evening, councilors. Good evening. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for considering this tonight under the suspension of the rules. Uh, this equipment um, needs to be purchased prior to the end of the year, purchased and uh, delivered prior to the end of the year. So this is just a supplement funding. Uh, the grant, the state had some extra funding left over, so we reapplied for some additional stuff. Any questions? Seeing none. Thank you. Thank you. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Motion was made and seconded uh, to approve by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, would you please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Zedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 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 Nine in the affirmative. And the order is adopted. Mr. President, um, Councilor Dubois contacted me and said that we can take number 34, uh, even in her absence, that it would be fine. We go back to item number 34, uh, Mr. Clerk. 
order that the DPW commissioner is authorized to issue three single family sewer connections total, one to each of the following parcels, ABC Claremont Avenue, formerly plots 4-5-6-7-8-9 Claremont Avenue, and council May 11, 2015. Refer the committee on finance, that report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Anieri. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the The order is, a, is adopted. Um, you want to go to? Yeah. Uh, we have a communication uh, that the um, city clerk is going to read, correct, Mr. Is clerk? Late file. Late file. Um, I have a motion to accept Take this a late. Second. Second. Make a motion to Motion been made and seconded. All in favor? Proposed, Mr. Clerk. Okay, communications relative to the establishment, reestablishment of revolving funds from the Act and Superintendent of Cemeteries, DPW Commissioner, the Executive Director of the Brockton Parking Authority, the Superintendent of Buildings, the Chief of Police, and the Police Department, the City Auditor, the Superintendent of Parks, the Director of Planning, the Mayor, and the CFO. Referred, uh, accepted, and placed on file. Excuse me. The orders are relative to the establishment or reestablishment of revolving funds for grave liners up to $100,000, keep Brockton beautiful up to $5,000, parking authorities parking enforcement program up to $250,000, abandoned building registry up to $250,000, closed cases up to $35,000, war memorial building up to $15,000, animal control spaying or neutering up to $5,000, demolition of buildings up to $110,000, women's commissions up to $2,500, public records up to $10,000, canine unit up to $5,000, cable related activities up to $500,000, manning pool up to $50,000, composting bin distributed distribution program up to $2,000, Chapter 40 R Smart Grant Incentives up to $250,000. Those, those items have been referred to finance. I also need a, a motion to accept a late file in regards to the budget, correct? Right. Motion we'll to accept. Second. Motion be made and seconded to accept the late file. All in favor? Opposed? Mr. Clerk? Communication for the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws recommended the City Council adopt the fiscal 2016 budget for the city and the amount and form is recommended appropriations in the total amounts of $384,173,386. Accepted and placed on file. The order of the budget for fiscal 2016. Yeah, and that's referred to uh, the Committee on Finance. I also, uh, we also need a, um, uh, on the cohesive one there, Councilor Stadinsky, a late file as well, please. A motion for a late, second. late file. Motion well, been made and seconded on, on this particular late file. Um, all in favor? Oppose, Mr. Clerk, read that please. Uh, order that the mayor and our treasurer be authorized to sell to Genco LLC have a usual place of business at 1014 Pearl Street, Brockton, the parcel of land located at and known as a said portion of Coesed Cemetery, any amount of $9,774.50. And that item will be referred to the Committee on Real Estate. We have another late file for a sewer connection. We also have a late file for a sewer connection. I need a street. second. Motion been made and second to accept the late file on uh, a sewer connection on what street was it, Mr. Clerk? This is on Ames Street. Ames Street. All in favor of that? Opposed, Mr. Clerk, please. That the DPW Commissioner is authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection for lot 4 Ames Street, book 44409, page 103, owned by Dennis Morrissey Family Realty Trust. Finance? Uh, yeah. yeah. Refer that to the Committee on Finance as, as well. Councilors, just before we um, I take any moments of personal privilege, I do want to indicate to you, um, as you all see in your desk, you have your budget book that was distributed this evening. Uh, I want to thank Mr. Condon, his staff, as well as the mayor, um, and all of those involved in, in making sure that um, they did work to their commitment to having the budget uh, 
uh, into us at an adequate level of time, which is this evening, and appreciate all that uh, hard work. The only budget that is not complete but will be complete is the school department budget. I believe they're meeting just as we speak. And when that budget is done, I've already indicated uh, to the mayor and to Mr. Condon and through the school department that those budget books will be delivered to you so that you'll have them. I've indicated that I want to make sure that everybody has them by uh, um, the end of the week, which would be Friday. So you will be receiving that. Councils, as you can see, you also have a um, schedule, which is uh, version one, and I think it probably may remain that way. It could change a little differently if a, if a department head may have a, uh, some type of a uh, uh, conflict with where we've set some of the um, you know, uh, uh, times up for them. But um, you have that in front of you as well. Uh, calls for our hearings to begin on Monday evening and Tuesday evening, Wednesday. When we begin on Monday at 6.30 p.m., we're going to be beginning with a public hearing right here in the council chambers. City clerk has already informed me that that uh, ad will be in the, um, in the paper and will be advertised. I believe it will be in uh, Thursday night's uh, newspaper. Uh, again, it's now public because the budget is out. And anyone that wishes to come to speak um, to us as council in regards to the uh, uh, city uh, budget for the year 2016 may do so at that particular time. And that will begin, as I said, at 6.30 p.m. When we conclude with the public hearing, then we will begin um, uh, talking about the, the budget. First off will be the mayor and Mr. Condon to make a presentation to us in regards to the budget, and then we'll go right into uh, hearing from all the other departments that have, have uh, been listed here. So I just want to make sure that everybody is well aware that we're starting at, at 6.30. The schedule is pretty similar to what we've done the last few years. I followed just what some of my predecessors had done and uh, kept it in that type of a, a format. Thursday is just an open date. Hopefully we won't need to uh, utilize that. I don't think that we will. Uh, again, as you go through the budget, I've already made mention to you a couple of times, it, it's lean, lean. I don't know if you want to call it lean and mean, but it's lean. And, um, you know, go through it. That's why you have it in ample time. And when we do meet, we want to make sure that we stay focused on just what we are here for, and that is the budget for, for 2016. So um, and with that being said, uh, again, we start Monday evening at 6.30 p.m. right here in the uh, council chambers. Anyone have any questions President, about that, Councilor Sullivan? I can have a moment of personal privilege. Yes, you may. Uh, just to remind everybody, we're having an ordinance committee meeting here tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, which will be Wednesday the 27th, 6 o'clock shop. We have a full agenda. I also want to uh, thank all those, those that participated in the Memorial Day Parade yesterday, specifically the department head for the Veterans Services, David Farrell. That was well attended, beautiful weather, and uh, we thank those that, uh, that give us our freedom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Azar. Mr. President. Yes. Um, I'd like to uh, announce a collaboration between the Brockton Garden Club and Fuller Craft Museum. They're putting on Craft and Bloom, which will take place June 5th, 6th, and 7th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, you can purchase tickets through um, the Fuller Craft Museum. So I hope everybody will come out and support this um, museum in Brockton. It should be a beautiful event. Very good, thank you. And I, and I do not want to omit the fact that um, also during the budget process, I know today the uh, city clerk and his staff work very feverishly in getting uh, some of the uh, late files done in regards to the budget, especially the uh, revolving accounts here, and I appreciate all the work and effort that they did as well um, in, in getting that done and ready for us uh, this evening. So any other uh, comments? Councilor Cruz. Thank you, a moment of personal privilege. You may, Councilor. Thank you, this is truly personal and truly a privilege. I just want to, uh, uh, 30 years ago today, I was lucky enough to marry the prettiest girl in Rockland. She's now the prettiest girl in Brockton. I want to tell her happy anniversary, honey. Very Otherwise. good. Uh, uh. And go straight home tonight, too. DC, we make it far. <laughs> Any other uh, comments or questions or concerns? Counselors, seeing none, this meeting is adjourned. So cute. <laughs>